now introducing Dr. Njakari Damages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world with the largest rats ever born, New York City. What? <laughs> this week, Boko Haram struck again in Joss, killing over a dozen people. In his reaction, President Jonathan said to Nigerians, we are winning the war. What? You just can't make this up. <laughs> Kids, when you grow up without shoes and suddenly find yourself as president, do us a favor. Stay away from Ogogoro. <laughs> Many people misunderstood what the president meant. Yeah. One man in Abuja got so scared about the concept of winning the war while many people are dying, that he climbed up on top of a telecommunication tower. <laughs> he probably figured it was the only place he could be safe from Boko Haram bombs. <laughs> <laughs> but trust President Jonathan's spokesman, Dr. Ruben Abati. Mm -hmm. He came out swinging. Mm -hmm. He said that the president was just waxing in metaphor. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> According to Dr. Abati, if we were not winning the war, the president will be in Otupo, hiding under his mother's bed. <laughs> there is a reason why the English said, when you are in a hole, stop digging. No. But the proverb doesn't mean anything to Dr. Ruben Abati. <laughs> and obviously not to Pastor Chris Oyekin Lome either. Oh, yeah. The senior pastor of the Ch Embassy Church. What's the name of the church? Christ Embassy, Christ yes. Embassy Church. He right. came out the other day to explain yes. what he meant when he said masturbation is not a sin. Hallelujah! Watch. I still don't understand you, Pastor. Can you please explain again why masturbation is not a sin? Because without imagination, there's no masturbation. Jesus said if you look at a woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. When one is masturbating, he imagines an evil thought which makes him to sin. So, sir, what do you say? I don't think it's a question of what do I say. It's Stop. Now, watch where his left hand goes whenever he's reading a letter from his male fans. No. This is from Pera Branda from Zambia. He says, Dear Pastor Chris, I'm one of the many believers that have been inspired and transformed by your ministry. I now know who I am in Christ. Now, I've been disturbed by news. Watch him, watch him do it again. Watch him, watch him. The problem is not the eating of bread. The problem is that he stole the bread that he ate. You have to understand the word of God. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I guess the core of Pastor Chris's lesson is simple. Whatever you do, do not use your mind. Mm. Yeah. And when you are done, make sure you wash your hands. Wash your hands. Oh. That's all. Pastor, tell them. It's not what you did with your hand. That's the problem. It's what caused whatever you did. That means your sin begins from your heart. So have this understanding. Jesus lets you know. It's not what you did with your hand that's the problem. It's what you did with your heart. You can have these imaginations while reading the book. You can have these wrong imaginations while you're eating your food. So the evil conceptions of your heart is where you've got a problem. So what do you clean, your hands or your heart? <laughs> the Nigerian police is changing its uniform again. What? Wow. <laughs> The new uniform is designed to make Boko Haram fighters confuse the police with the army. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Already, the army is kicking against the uniform. What? The army said in a statement that during hunting season, that is a code word for when they clash with the police, <laughs> that the army boys will have difficulty finding their practice targets. <laughs> with camouflage uniform, it will be difficult for them to get the target. So they are kicking against the uniform. <laughs> you guys know that Africa has a new king? No, 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 no. no, no. He is His Majesty King Robert Mugabe of uh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Local chiefs from Kenya presented him with Gaddafi's old robe. 
It's so sad that NATO does not care enough to give someone in Zimbabwe a pistol. <laughs> that would take care of it. That would take care of it. <laughs> it's been revealed that Osama bin Laden was actually betrayed by one of his wives. No! Yeah. Yeah. She was the one whose movement led the Americans to the compound. Wow. Let it be a lesson to all of you who marry more than one wife. Mm. If wife A does not abuse you, wife B will betray you. <laughs>
So let me repeat. You know, this time around, I promise I will make less promises. This is a promise. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, excuse me. Your spokesman, Dr. Ruben Abati, complained that the opposition leaders were insulting you. Are you that thin skinned? You must be stupid to ask that question. First of all, I am from the creeks. My skin is as scales like the fish. <laughs> so no shaking. What was the second question again? Are you then saying that Ruben was speaking for himself, sir? You know Ruben, you know Ruben, he used to be one of you. You know, he does this gra, gra all the time, once and for all, just to make, you know, to keep his job. You know, man must work. Are you worried that poverty is at an all-time high in Nigeria? With cassava bread, <laughs> I made it easy for our people to get out of poverty, to get divorced from poverty. But they refuse. They say they are Catholics. They don't get divorced. I don't get it. For me and my family, as long as we have cassava bread, we are as unconcerned as dead bodies. I can only take a goat to a cassava bread. I can't force it to eat it. <laughs> Was the incompetency of our soldiers responsible for, you know, the failure of the hostage rescue mission in Sokoto? You said, you said such, who said such a stupid thing? Who? The British. Then he must be right. <laughs> he must be right. <laughs> Nigerian football is in a sorry state, sir. What are you going to do about it, please? Hey, I have a radical solution. I think the problem with Nigerian football is purely discipline. You know the way MEND is now in charge of washing our pipeline. I will ask Boko Haram people when I meet with them to take care of discipline of our footballers. If that doesn't work, I will sack Stephen Keshi and take over the head coach. Hmm. Those days without shoes, I used to dribble the ball like Pele. Ah! Uh, I was named the best and the most... Uh. <laughs> we now take you back to your regularly scheduled program in progress. Uh, sad news. Dr. Godwin Dabo died this week. Yeah. He was a famous politician. He died at the National Hospital. What? Yeah, obviously. He's no longer foremost because great politicians don't die at the National Hospital. Oh. They die abroad. <laughs> <laughs> After 244 years, Encyclopedia Britannica has put out its last print edition. What? Oh yeah, they are finished. The internet finished them. They did it in so much rush that most things were mangled up. This is what they wrote about President Good Luck, Jonathan. They said, a man who made a fortune inheriting high power, but who has low aptitude when it comes to exercising it. Oh, no. His wife, however, is a different cup of fat. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These British people are, and their grammar, I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> I leave you with this story. In Edo State, the governor has started a bus line. Unlike other states, Edo State's governor insisted that the drivers must be women without experience. What? <laughs> Nobody expected them to find women without experience in Edo State. <laughs> but, but they did. But they did. Take a look. <laughs> take, a, take a look. Uh, until next week, this is Dr. Damages. I diagnose... You heal yourself!